Hey everybody, so today we're going to be talking all about Azurite, and at first glance, I'm sure people know Azurite, but how amazingly beautiful is Azurite? I mean, can it get any more beautiful than that? It's absolutely stunning, and the blue in this is just the deepest most royal blue imaginable i mean it is one of my favorite crystals hands down something that i use quite a bit during meditation and should be in everybody's arsenal everybody's collection it is just besides its beauty the properties which we're going to be talking about is well worth owning several specimens of azurite. I mean, look at this. And azurite commonly grows with malachite. So you're going to see a lot in the crystal stores. You're going to see super druzy azurite specimens like this mixed with malachite. And very common to see it mixed with malachite. It's actually a perfect combination um, working with azurite and malachite, but one of the most stunning crystals that you could get it. It's pretty common. It, it could be pretty pricey depending on what type of specimen you're getting, but look at that beautiful, druzy, sparkly, magical, deep, deep blue almost like an indigo, like a deep, just so deep a blue. It's, it's amazing. Look at that. And uh, azurite is hands down one of my favorite crystals. So there is a big reason they call this the stone of heaven. That's kind of its name. And the stone of heaven, Mayans used to use this. Um, other indigenous tribes used to use this, and they used to always use it to kind of bridge that gap between this world and the next. And it is very magical, very mystical, and very easy to work with. And the Mayans used to use this, and they used it for sacred mystical communication via thought. So think about that for a minute. The Mayans are using this. And they're connecting this world to the next via thought. So just that alone says quite a bit. Because there's a ton of documented cases of people using Azurite for communication with this world and the next. And it's absolutely easy to use. It's very easy to use. Um, perfect for meditation. So you're, you're going to want to cleanse Azurite. However, I wouldn't recommend putting this one under running water. I would sage this one, uh, leave it overnight, moonlight, that type of thing. Uh, other ways to, to cleanse besides water. Um, the reason is... Some of these specimens, it can soak that water in and break them apart. They could be more brittle than, than others. Um, truthfully, I have ran this big one underwater before, and it's been fine. But I wouldn't recommend soaking this in water, especially something like this, which is uh, something like this is probably, I don't know, hundred and some dollar range. You're not going to want to mess, mess something like this up. Um, another thing with Azurite, it, this one you can kind of see bigger crystals on it. Most of them, you're going to see just that crystal druze, which still tons of little crystals. And it is more common to see these type with a lot of the little crystals than it is this type with the bigger 
azurite crystal. It's kind of hard to see in there, but there's that just a huge crystal growing on this guy. Um, this one I actually at times will put in a cage around my neck and I'll stretch it out um, and wear this one. This is a beauty. And put this in the sunlight, it absolutely blows up. So anyway, I'm getting off base here a little bit, just <laughs> amazed by the, the beauty of Azurite. But like I said, the Mayans used to use this to kind of bridge the gap between this world and the next into the spirit world. And if you work with it, you're going to kind of understand why. It is the absolute perfect tool for meditation because it's going to connect you. It's going to activate your third eye and also your throat chakra. And both of those combined, it's going to awaken psychic abilities. And when I say psychic abilities, I'm talking different things like channeling, clairvoyance, telepathy, uh, communication with uh, spirit guides, angels, all that kind of stuff. Um, I don't know if you're going to be, you know, psychokinesis, turning, you know, melting things with your mind and uh, catching things on fire. And it's, you know, it's going to be relative. It's a relatively powerful crystal, but you're going to need to get in the zone, so to speak. So meditating with this is perfect because it's going to take you to that deep meditation state where it's going to promote really deep meditation and visual visualization. And that's why it's used so commonly in meditation. But if you work with it enough and meditate with it, it's going to really get you into that zone of no mind. So that's kind of what it's called where you silence, you know, your mind and this will make it a lot easier to get to that state. And really clear the mind and promote like deep, deep introspection on and visual visualization and, and allow images to flow and also allow you to recognize and kind of intuitively determine what these mean, um, whether they're given to you by your guides or, or whatnot. And also along that lines, sleep, fantastic for sleep and not to put you to sleep, but to activate your dream sequences and help you determine um, the, the messages you get in your dreams and also dream recall. If you're someone that can't remember dreams, this is perfect to keep with you uh, against your skin, preferably jewelry, uh, like on a necklace or something, and it will absolutely meditate with this shortly before you go to bed and then wear it while you're sleeping this will increase your dream recall by tenfold and if you work with this enough your dreams are going to be mega vivid it can lead to lucid dreaming um, all that type of stuff i haven't really uh, used this a while for that but i'm gonna have to do that because if you don't use it for a while and you turn to azurite you will have crazy, vivid, lucid dreams. And it might not be the first night right off the bat, but wear it for a couple nights and, and you will definitely experience it. Um, it's definitely also a stone of communication. Like I said, it also activates not only the third eye, but it activates the um, throat chakra. And the throat chakra is all about communication. So great if you are needing to speak eloquently and share your ideas and if you have problems with that where you need to speak a little better and you know th this is great for that as well it helps you express yourselves more clearly and especially for others to kind of understand what you're saying great for spiritual teachers um trying to get their message out there and and really help you speak and just help others to kind of understand what you're saying. And it definitely helps with that as well. But my main thing with this is meditate with it and you're going to kind of see because you're going to definitely connect at a deeper, more mystical level. 
And you almost feel like when you're in a deep meditation with Azurite, that you kind of just activate something deep within yourself. And whether it's your guides communicating with you, whatever the case may be, I would highly recommend testing that out and, and using it with uh, meditation. Um, I don't know what else I didn't cover in terms of this, but the it's fantastic for working with psychic connections. And if you concentrate specifically on something, if you're looking to develop telepathy, communication mentally more, uh, definitely great to work with. And it brings out and activates a lot of innate psychic abilities that you might not even know you have. And they're right there, which you could work with them. Clairvoyance, clairaudience. I mean, there's, there's, there's tons of different ones. So, I mean, this, this Azurite, what's great about it is it's beautiful to collect, to look at, and to work with. And when you hear about somebody like a, the Mayans working with it, you know it's got to be good. I mean, if the Mayans were using this to communicate with the spirit world, I mean, that's it. Come on. Like, it, it, there's a lot of, if you, you look it up, there's a ton of indigenous tribes that use this to connect with um, the spirit world and just all kinds of documented cases. But great, great crystal, beautiful, beautiful crystal. Highly recommend working with it whether you're doing trying to get lucid dreams out of it or just deep meditation from the spiritual world, pick up some Azurite. I mean, oh, I, I could look at Azurite all day. Look at it. Look at that. There, some of them that are just the Azurite crystals are extremely expensive and they're very hard to find too, even in crystal shops. Most of what you're going to see is covered in the Azurite crystals, like all the Drews. But still, these are amazing. I mean, look at that. And, and these are relatively inexpensive. You could probably pick up a piece of Azure like this for within the $20, $30 range, depending on where you're shopping. But highly recommend to um, pick up some of this. This is another one that's perfect for a pendant. I mean, I think I'm going to actually get my little cage out for my pendant and wear this one right now. So, <laughs> all right, if you guys have any questions, anything like that, please feel free to leave any comments and I'll try to answer any questions. See you guys next week.